Kichimami-san! This is Alana and welcome to another Krika tutorial video. When I first uploaded this tutorial video on how to customize his shoes, one of my friends messaged me and asked me if I can customize his shoes for him. He sent me these two images. So, I decided to make another tutorial video. What is the difference from my first tutorial video? In my first video, I used a vector image for the design. But for this time, since my friend gave me a JPEG image, I'll be showing you one easy way on how you can convert an image like this one, JPEG, PNG, GIF, into SVG so that you can upload it to Cricut Design Space and use it in your design. So without further ado, let's get started! First, let me enumerate to you the tools and materials for this project. First and foremost, your Cricut Maker, cutting tools and weeding tools, HTV vinyl or iron-on vinyl, so I'll be using white and yellow for this one. Next is your blank shoes or canvas, I'll be using also light grip mat and your home iron. Again, if you have a Cricut mini press, that will be better, but since I don't have, I will just be using my normal home iron. Next, I'll be showing you on how you can convert the JPEG image into SVG. One of the easy ways to convert JPEG image into SVG is to use an iOS app called Ima Engine. So in this app, you will just click the import photo, insert the JPEG image that you want to convert, and click next. Here in the bottom, you can find different um, presets to convert your image into vector image. You can also use the four lines at the bottom to adjust the vector image in the setting that you want. When you're done, click the share arrow on the upper right side, make sure it is in SVG and click save to gallery. Next, open in editor, then click open and save to file. Save in the location where you can easily transfer it into your PC. Then, I will be saving it again in another in another setting, color and hatch. Same process, adjust the details that you want. So for this one, I only need the yellow part, the center part. When done, click again the share arrow and open in, save to files and save in the location that you want. The next thing you need to do is to transfer it to your PC and upload in Cricut Design Space. Now, we are here at Cricut Design Space. So, the first thing we're gonna do is create new project. And then click Upload. I already uploaded the two SVG here. If you haven't uploaded your image or SVG, just click on Upload and drop your file here. So, I will not do that. I will insert first this one. So the only thing that I will need from this one is the orange part. So I need to ungroup this one. So let's remove the unnecessary part. So I only need this orange part. The other parts I will delete then I will upload this I will insert this image let's also ungroup this one so I need the, the other side so in order to do that make a shape overlap it on the design click both then slice this is the part that I need so I can delete this one Next, let's color it white and flip so it will be like this now let's insert our bands I will save it as print then cut image now let's insert the image of the shoes a piece of petal so I will be getting a piece of petal here okay and this one now I'm going to put here next add the text 
change the white then change that one to sketch so i got this font from the font.com letter e is too big for me so i will ungroup this and change the height of 8.6 let's hide this and weld this one and also this one weld let's connect our cricut maker make sure to mirror your design set the material to iron on Let's load it in our mat and start cutting. And we're done. Let's remove it from our mat. Let's start reading. final result. So, you have here this, this, and this light, and the petal. And this is our final product. We are able to use our JPEG image into our design. And that's it for today's vlog. If you find this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please kindly show me some love by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching guys! See you in my next videos! Bye!